Hello everybody, this is Friday, October 26th, and today is actually the main official day of the launch of the Surface, but today uh, I'm not going to be talking about the Surface, I'm actually going to be talking about a new app I found, or not a new app, it's a app that you can get from the Windows Store called Xbox Smart Glass. Now Microsoft launched Xbox Smart Glass at E3, and they said it'd be released this uh, fall. And what do you know? It's out officially now, as of today. It's just, today's the official release of it. Uh, by the way, my name is Quaku from Next Gen Windows, and we should check it out. Uh, this is the splash page for Xbox Smart Glass right here. You can see it connects to your tablet or Windows 8 PC to your Xbox. And you can see now it's connecting to my Xbox. As you can see, it just now loaded to my Xbox Smart Glass main page. Uh, this show is now playing and recent and all these other stuff that you saw in the other uh, Xbox games application. Only this shows a lot more. Uh, right now, it tells you that you're using Xbox Smart Glass. You can use it as a remote, or you can see you're, right now, this is what I am on. My Xbox upstairs is on the Xbox 360 dashboard, so that's what it shows. Um, also, if I'm to press GTA 4, then it'll load the little screen thing. And then if I hit play, it'll start playing GTA 4. You can see it goes to the Smart Class page, and it, it means the Xbox upstairs is currently going to start playing GTA 4. As you can see down below, it just, it just started playing it. So if I go back out, you can see this changed right here to now playing currently it's GTA 4 and it also shows the related games so Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 somehow they're related in some way to GTA 4 even though they're shooters and GTA 4 is an action adventure game but side the point is you can search uh, your Xbox for stuff uh, popular things you can search you can look at recent titles recent things that I've done on Xbox so for instance I've recently uh, went to the. I've recently done all these things right here. So I play GTA 4, and this is from most recent to least recent. So the least recent thing I did, uh, the very first thing I did when I got my Xbox was play Worms Ultimate Mayhem. Um, you can also sort it by you know recently played or A to Z, and then you can view music. When you view music, it launches the music app. Videos, same thing. It launches the Xbox Videos app, which I'll cover in another video. Two different videos. Uh, games launches Xbox Games app. And uh, Bing searches the Xbox Bing for things. So if we click search for Minecraft, uh, you can see it starts loading and searching for Minecraft right here. Uh, you can see right now there are no videos for Minecraft, but there are games. So if you click the Games tab, you can see on the Xbox Store, uh, Xbox Marketplace, Minecraft shows up. And then if you press Minecraft, for instance, it brings up Minecraft, friends that have set beacons to it, uh, recently fr friends that have recently played Minecraft, and who's and one person is currently playing Minecraft. And then you hit Explore a Game. And it brings up the little overview thing of the game, and you can download game add-ons, get the demos, you can, everything that you view on the Xbox itself, you can do it right here uh, in a faster fashion instead of having to click in and click out of things so quickly on Xbox. Uh, when you go back, you press the back arrow to go back. And also, when you swipe in from the bottom, it actually shows you what you did, you know, what you're currently doing right now, and if you just click away or just tap away from it. You can also use a mouse and right click and it does the same thing. Uh, also the neat feature is Xbox Remote which basically allows you to control your Xbox using whatever device you're using. For instance this computer allows you to use, you know, control the Xbox. It doesn't allow you to control games but it allows you to control the Xbox. So if we hit switch it also switches to like uh, whatever you're doing. So, for instance, if I'm using the Internet Explorer on Xbox uh, 360, I can switch to browser. Right now, I'm playing a game, so it requires the controller. So it makes me go to the controller. But if I was using Internet Explorer, I would click the browser thing, 
and it would allow me to control the Xbox instead of having to type in those long URLs on the Xbox control with the Xbox controller. I could just type it in with the computer right here and press this browser thing to actually press things on it. Uh, so that you could basically use your screen, your TV screen, whatever size you have as the big screen, and just have your little uh, tablet, laptop, phone, or whatever device to just manage it and control it. Uh, and then if you hit close, you go back. Uh, you can see all these things right here. When you search for things, it searches for anything. So if you want to search for Game of Thrones, it loads videos Game of Thrones. So the video store, it brings up the Game of Thrones. You press Game of Thrones. Uh, you have options. You can view the seasons right here. And then if you want to view seasons, you just tap View Seasons. And then you can view the Game of Thrones, uh, the rated, the ratings and everything for it. You can view seasons. If you want to view season two, you can click season two right there. And then you can see the episodes right here. If you want to click the first episode, you can click it, and then you can play it on your Xbox. Right now, I have not purchased this, so it wouldn't even work for me. Uh, it would make me purchase it. But those are the cool things you can do with Xbox Smart Glass. Xbox Smart Glass, like, for instance, we're going to click GTA 4, since I'm currently running it right now on the Xbox. allows me to do all this extra stuff with it and view, like, achievements. So if, if you want to see what achievement you just unlocked, you know, usually you'd have to press the, the in the center of the controller the Xbox symbol to go to the that to little um, sub menu on the, a, a sub dashboard that goes over the game to view your achievements. This way, you could just pull out the device and just view your achievements right here, and you'd be set to go. So if we click view achievements, you can view all your achievements right there, and you don't have to like click in and then click the achievement to see what the achievement was and how you unlocked it. So it's it's basically a really, really unique and very nice feeling way to control your Xbox. And it's basically an add on for your Xbox. Only this add on is free for every device that it comes on. And the devices it comes on is uh, Windows 8. Obviously, Windows 8 and Windows RT are tied in together, they have the same app store. So, Windows 8. Windows Phone is coming also from Windows Phone 8. They have it for iPad and iPhone, iPod Touch. They have it for Android devices recently. Today it was just released. So they have it in pretty much everything you can think of except for Blackberries and all this stuff. But I'm pretty sure Microsoft, when Blackberry comes around, Microsoft will port it to them too. Uh, this has been Kwaku from Next Gen Windows, and this was the Xbox Smart Glass app for Windows 8. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you later. Peace.